Okay, so we're on the bench. I'm going to try and make this as quick and as waffle free as I possibly can. What I have laid out before me is a Fluke multimeter, one of the most reliable meters in the world, and uh, it is fully calibrated. Um, I'm going to stick that to one side for now. I have two uh, identical charging units that, that you may have seen from uh, recent new events. New news. Oh, I, I'm a, I, yeah. Um, I'm so excited to be on the Hayes Ale with, with Keith. I'm hiding my tools. I just know what his top pocket is like. Um, these two look identical um, in, uh, in sort of shape, form, and everything like that. Um, I have cut myself tonight. I may be oozing blood. I'm not sure. I'll try not to. Um, they are pretty much identical in every sense of the word, apart from when you swing it around to the top and you can start to see um, differences. You can also see differences uh, when you get to this portion here. Now I'm not sure if I can get down. Oh, no I can't. Hold on. Oh, you may be able to see that. I'm not sure. But it's about that way isn't it? Okay. This one is a 5 volt output. This one is a 4.2 volt output charging unit. What we are going to do is look at, while well, I kill the sound and everything else, look at what happens with these. Now I'm going to do it in a safe way, I'm going to do it in a controlled way and I'm going to do it with something that uh, is on the bench and I can wing out the door if need be. Now I'm not that, you know, frightened. I've tried to make batteries explode before and it all went tits, um, as this may do. Uh, if it does, it's been nice knowing you. Um, I have here a, uh, this is a battery, it happens to be from ESIG Wizard, it's one that, that I've used um, quite extensively and it's never let me down, I've always used the correct charger to charge it with. Now I didn't realise until it was pointed out the other night, I had one of these and, and I even I didn't realise I had one of these in my collection of chargers. Where the hell it come from, I do not know, but I know it sat in the drawer and up until the you know, past couple of weeks is when I decided to start looking at my chargers and, and I found one of these. I've got the eye taste clamped into the jaws. I need that for testing purposes. Um, as you know, or if you don't, the eye taste has a, a 5 volt output for charging. Um, I've got a multimeter or the fluke I'm going to bring in and position like so. I'm going to try and get all this on shot. What I have here is a USB lead um, that I have simply trimmed back the, the pos and the minus on and I'm going to uh, insert that into the eye taste battery, turn on the output, I think that's the output turned on, um, and, uh, and I'm just going to pop this on the pos and neg. Now I may not have turned it on, I don't know. We'll certainly soon see if I did just to see what this now I didn't turn the output on pop it across pause and neg and I'm just seeing exactly what the eye taste is putting out now the eye taste is just off screen I'll bring it back in a minute so that is putting out 5.1 volts from the eye taste unit I'm going to move that in back in shot ever so slightly and I'm just going to random pick I don't know which way I put them down um, I'm going to put in one of these chargers, which should flip to green as it does. And I'm going to touch the pause pin, go on the neg pin, and this one here. See, they randomise this. This, you know, again, this should be putting out 4.2. This is at 4.3, but it's in the region of where it should be. It's 0.1 of a volt out. So it's now back at 4.2, 4.3, 4.2, 4 4.3. So it, it's regulating that voltage to uh, to where it needs to be. Let me slap in the one that is at 5 volts. Now, if 
as I suspect this is almost if you like a straight through as everybody has been talking about this week a straight through on the voltage I'd expect to see this at 5.1 um, because that would mean it's not regulated in any way what it's doing is simply putting out the voltage that, that is there and as you can see that is chucking it out at 5.1 so all that charger is doing is, is throwing out the available um, voltage and no doubt the available amps that will be coming from a charging source. Now if you look at this I taste as your plug socket, that's what it's going to be doing. It's, it's, put, it's just chucking everything through. There's, there's no limiting factor in there at all. What I wanted to do very quickly is crack these open. I'm very conscious of time because I'll, I want to try something if I can. Um, I need a tool and I'm just going to crack these to open just for a first sort of Im impression. And the way I'm going to do that is insert me ends in there. I'm just going to ease these open ever so slightly. Oh, that looked almost planned, didn't it? So there is our... Yeah. There is our, if you like, one that is just chucking through 5 volts. It's got circuitry in there. Um, but realistically, probably most of that is to, is to, to control the uh, you know, control the LED. Um, I don't know if there's any shot off circuitry in there. I, I don't know. I can't read something of that small. But at this moment in time, all I'm interested in is what it will throughput in terms of a voltage. I'm just going to do the same to a 5 And straight away you, you can see a, a major difference in terms of uh, components and bits and pieces in there. I'm going to try and get this in as close as I can. So straight away there, there is a, a huge difference not only as you can see in what I would call build quality. This definitely looks like a higher quality construction than this one. Uh, there's an extra chip in that circuit an extra cut a bit. I would imagine this this chip down here is, is the one that's going to be doing the uh, doing the regulation what I'm going to do is just very quickly work out where these points are I need to meter on so if I bring back in my eye taste and I'm going to first plug in my regulated board there I just need to work out what the pos and and minus are I'm assuming the pos is going to be let's bring this in again sorry I'm all over the place I'm, I'm trying to rush you can see that in the corner I'm hoping that if I get down on these points here that's pos that's neg no to the way around That's me 5.1 in, and my output here is me 4.3, 4.2, what it is. So input on this side of the board, 5.1. I've got them around the wrong way. The crossover it doesn't really matter. 5.1 that way. Spin the leads back round. 4.3 that way. Take out my regulator board put in my unregulated board and let's see what I've got here 5.1 in five point one out I'm gonna pop back in two I just want to try something very 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 quickly back in two very quickly I've rigged up a Twin 18650 pack uh, into this charger. I haven't soldered on the neg leave yet because I just wanted to get a voltage readout on, on the pack first, which I am at uh, 7.5 volts um, upside down. So 7.5 volts going into this charger. Um, now, I would hope it would fizzle and fizzle and do all the stuff when I make this connection. Um, but I'm just going to solder on a neg lead to it and straight away I have an LED that's lit up. 
Um, so the LED is lit up and it's getting that 7.2 volts uh, from the from the battery pack. Now let's just see what it's outputting. Um, I'm just going to go on the neg and the pos of these two points here. Hold on, it's going all over the place. There it is. Got it. 7.5 out exactly 7.5 out. What I'm going to do while I've got that in situ I'm going to get my Ego battery and I'm going to screw this onto here and see what happens. That's gone charge battery's charging, lights up that battery is now charging at 5.1 volts so it's regulating the voltage in some way to 5.1 volts it's regulating it to the 5 volts not the 4.2 so there is a level of regulation in there now let me just check on the input of this again I've got 7.2 going into the board on the output I've got me 5.1, 5.2 that's going in so there is a level of regulation in this board um, now I don't know you see the battery is it, it's charging and it's charging at that at 5 volts so it seems to be limiting in a way um, not what I was expecting to be honest I thought that would just throughput the voltage it was going in so it is, it is limiting but it does go to show you've got 5 volts coming into this it needs 4.2 not 5 um, and if there's no charging in this I, I don't know how well this charging circuit at that voltage going in even though it's limiting to 5 would take to charge that circuit two seconds. Uh, I've rigged up the um, 4.2 volt charger on, on the 7 point odd volt pack. Now I'll just show you the input on this again. I've got 7.4 now obviously the batteries are depleting. Um, I'm just going to go out to my output and again this one here will regulate down to 4.2, 4.3 which is where it should be. Again I suspect that if I plug my charger on here plug my charger, put my battery on it's going to charge um, both these chargers, now I don't know whether they're, they're the they're, they're both regulating in a way um, one is regulating to 5 volt, one is regulating to, to 4.2 the correct voltage obviously to regulate to is, is 4.2. Now that puts that puts a lot of other things in the equation in terms of when things can go wrong. Um, I think this one needs further investigation. We need to dissect these a little bit further um, to possibly look at where failure points can occur.